Hi, my name is Marin, and today FM rocks in Lambasa. Mula, my name is Mark. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Makassi. Hey, Bula from Rocky Rocky. I'm Mentor. I love listening to Today FM because they're playing my hits. Today FM rocks. My name is Enrico. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Suba. Hi, I'm Asunika and I'm from Lotoka and I love Today FM. Today FM rocks. Bula, I'm Siva. I'm from Bat. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. Yandavinaka Fiji in this bulletin. Government clarifies new BDM charges. 15 cases in court for illegal fishing. And live cinemas begins operations in Lambasa. From the studios of FBC Suva, Edwin Nan. Attorney General A. S. A. Kayum has clarified that it will not cost Fijians $3,000 to get legally married. This follows misinformation regarding the hike in registration fees stemming from an increase in charges for some services at the Birth, Deaths and Marriages Registry. Said Kayum says the $3,000 is a fee for civil marriage celebrants, people who are certified to conduct marriages. Uh, we saw some people saying that now to get married you have to pay $3,000. It's a ridiculous proposition. As the fee says, this is for civil marriage celebrants. As you know that a few years ago, we amended the law where we have upright citizens who can actually apply personally in their own right to become a marriage celebrant. The Attorney General says the prices for reprinting the various BDM certificates was last reviewed 19 years ago. He says Fiji still has relatively low costs for birth certificates and other documents when compared to South Pacific neighbours. Samoa, to get a certified copy of a birth certificate, cost Australian $40, which is Fijian $59. In Fiji, it now costs only $10. In uh, Vanuatu, for example, if you uh, 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 have a certified copy of birth certificate, Vanuatu costs is about $28 Fijian. So again, ours is only $10. The ban on Kawakawa and Dono is not to be taken lightly as 15 cases are now before court. In what could be the first of its kind, FPC News can confirm that people have been taken to task after they were caught receiving a 600 kilogram shipment of the banned species. Fisheries Permanent Secretary Craig Strong says all the banned Kawakawa and Donu confiscated were documented, photographed and securely stored at nearby fishery stations until investigations are complete. Strong says vessel operators and the public need to work with the authorities to ensure the sustainability of Kawakawa and Donu. So these are some of the files that are now in process. The, those two vessels that, um, that um, we were involved, we were very happy with the level of um, cooperation. Um, that, that took place. Um, so the, the update um, essentially is, is one, uh, they're in the, that's one of the files that are in process um, for, for, um, for prosecution. A new partnership between the Agriculture Ministry and New Caledonia, new Caledonia seeks to increase local livestock production. The ministry's breeding program is one of the key areas being looked at under the deal Minister for Agriculture Dr. Mahendra Reddy says New Caledonia will help Fiji develop specific programs for livestock farming. Dr. Reddy says this agreement will also help Fijians indulge in commercial farming. We're looking at uh, partnering with New Caledonia in terms of assisting us in the embryo transfer program and multiplication of that here. There are other areas uh, within the agriculture sector, for example, uh, sharing genetic resources. The Fiji Pediatrics Oncology Unit has noted a major increase in the survival rates of child cancer patients. Dr. Losolini Lewiningila, a pediatrician at the CWM Hospital, says this is a result of the ongoing partnership between Fiji and New Zealand. Dr. Lewiningila says the ongoing training of Fijian doctors overseas has enabled them to provide better treatment for patients in Fiji and those from neighboring islands. So following all these efforts, the survival of, of our pediatric oncology cases have drastically improved. Survival rates have improved as well. Our pediatric oncology services in Fiji continues to grow. And now we are seeing and beginning to treat children from our neighboring countries uh, like Kiribati, Tuvalu and Vanuatu. 
crossing mangrove swamps to get to school will soon be a thing of the past for the children of Nawaikama and neighboring villages on the island of Ngao. A groundbreaking ceremony for a new footbridge was held yesterday with Prime Minister Vorenge Bani Morama on hand to officiate. Lina Rees with the story. The Minister for Infrastructure, Chane Usamate, highlighted that the footbridge is expected to be completed by the end of November. Particular footbridge, I think we had the uh, laying what you call the foundation of the pile. So it's a project that's been carried out by the army engineers, and from the um, from the uh, presentation they gave, I think it's going to be completed by the month of November. But obviously, it's going to allow children that used to walk in the Ndongo area and that uh, you know Ndongo uh, water coming through to actually give them some protection. The villages there used to use uh, all coconut planks. Meanwhile, the health minister, Dr. Feremi Wangai Nambete, highlighted the great need that had been met in nursing stations in Nawaikama and Vandra Vandra. So the office of the prime minister has been uh, supporting us by, by doing this project, which costs about 80,000 per project, which is the availability of, um, of solar, solar power to Nawaikama, Vandra Vandra and Batiki nursing stations. Uh, so that's been commissioned, the ones in uh, Vandra Vandra and Nawaikama. Uh, but I think it's finished, it's going to be commissioned later. Dr. Wangai Nabete also revealed that a nurse practitioner and four other nurses will soon be posted to assist health officials currently serving in the Lomaiviti province. Lina Rees, FBC News. Hundreds flocked to the Gurbuchan Singh Mall in Lambasa yesterday to experience what it's like watching movies on the big screen. Live Cinema opened two new cinemas at the mall situated along Main Street in Lambasa. The $1 million investment by businessman Charajit Singh has become a hit since the cinema opened doors at 9 a.m. Supervisor Muhammad Hussain says it's been an exciting day. I'm very excited with that. Many people, they are coming, they are booking in advance, one week advance, they are coming and booking everything uh, they want to know in, in asking us when the cinema starts, they are very excited. There are some people, they got the problem of uh, traveling, transportation, but still they are making the way to come to and uh, buy a ticket to us with na late night show. The cinemas are open for screening from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., and it's been three decades since the last cinema in Lambasa was operational. Students from Narokorokoyawa and Korovo village will no longer cross rivers and creeks to reach school with the commissioning of two foot crossings. The villages situated in the interior of Naitasiri say they are thankful to the government for building the crossings. The project was initiated as part of rehabilitation works after tropical cyclone Winston in the upper regions of Naitasiri. Minister for Rural and Maritime Development Dr. Mahendra Reddy says the two crossings will help children get to school easier while the elderly, those with disabilities and the sick will be able to move freely. Whenever, whenever we uh, do opening of crossings, we feel very enlightened because crossing and bridges is about joining two communities, joining two areas. Following rigorous international and local conferences, there is now a notable shift in environmental strategies to consider traditional practices. The impact of climate change continues to alarm small island nations. However, they also impact their traditions and culture. According to the director of the Fiji Museum, Cipriano Nemani, traditional knowledge and practices play a vital role in mitigating climate change and can sustain one traditional identity. The mitigation measures for climate change, now they are turning to traditional or cultural resources as a way, or cultural ideologies and knowledge as a way of uh, mitigating eh? uh, climate change and uh, natural disasters and so forth. Coming up, preparations for Dean's competition heats up and Nakarawa to head flying Fijians against Canada. Anguela o veterano, o Itabua, a que do talita ina na barrongo ina bula FM, na mandua na sere. Bula, anguela noa, ilo toca do talita kana bula FM, bula tini na mandua na sere. Nin bula mina ka, nan regengo sa bula FM nga, e na kasi. Nan regengo sa mandu ativo na bula FM, na mandua na sere no sur. Nin bula mina ka, nan regengo Jerry, e o melampasa, do barrongo ina bula FM. 
Nambang doang. Bola FM, Nambang 2 and Seri. Welcome back. The Vodafone Dean's Under-18 semi-final between Duvu College and Ratu Kandavu Levu School this weekend is building up to be an epic battle. With Duvu backed by the Nanonga province at home and RKS fixed on defending its title, the two finalists from last year are set to light up Lawanga Park on Saturday afternoon. Players from Duvu have proved their worth in the competition following last week's quarter-final and they will, be out, they will go all out again this weekend. Dubu College is ready for the match. Yes, we understand that RKS is the title holder. We wish them also the best. Please uh, play good rugby. But yes, Dubu College is prepared. Fiji Airways Flying Fijian star Lok Leone Nakarawa has been given the captaincy role for round two of the Pacific Nations Cup match against Canada. Coach John McKee made a, change, made a range of changes to the team, with Dominico Wanganimburotu given a break after playing three consecutive games. Josh Matavesi will start at fly half, pairing up with Henry Senaloli, Seniloli at halfback. Semi Randrandra has recovered well and will get his first run in the Flying Fijians jersey this year at outside centre alongside Chale Vatumbua. The wings will feature Eroni Sao and Joshua Trisova, while Kini Murimurivalu starts again at fullback. The Flying Fijians face Canada at 5.15 p.m. tomorrow at the ANZ Stadium in Suva. Major changes have been introduced to the 2019 National Rugby Championship. Teams will now be rewarded for strong defence with a goal line dropout when the ball is held up in the in-goal area. They will also be recognised for aggressive territorial kicking with the introduction of a 50-22 play. Attacking teams that boot the ball indirectly from open play or a free kick within their own half and land it either within their opponent's 22 or touchline will earn a line-out throw. Defending champions, the Fijian Rua will take on Brisbane City on the 31st of this month. Fiji's first home match will be against Western Force a week later. Day 3 of the 2019 Inc. Mobile Battle of the Giants tournament has been rescheduled due to unfavorable ground conditions. Fiji Football Chief Executive Mohamed Yusuf says the matches which were supposed to be played today will now be played on Sunday. The semi-finals and final have been rescheduled to next weekend. The Fiji FA says the ground condition still has not improved but they are hopeful the weather will be fine in the next two days. In Sunday's day three matches, Nasinu will take on Nandi at 11 a.m., Lambasa takes on Tavua at 1 p.m., Rewa plays Lotoka at 3 p.m., and Ba will play Suva at 5 p.m. Boxer Savanada Naliva is well prepared for the task that's ahead of him. Naliva will get a second sh shot at getting the title of being the best boxer in Fiji after his match in February against Joseph Kwajo was prematurely stopped because of poor ring conditions. The referee had stopped the match in round six as the ring was too slip slippery to continue the match. Naliva says he is happy that the fight contract has been signed. I have been waiting for this moment and I am thankful that I have now signed my contract so I will do my very best to come out on top on the 26th of October. Fine, apart from brief isolated showers over the eastern parts and interior of larger islands, elsewhere mainly fine weather, cool nights. Moderate east to southwest winds, winds expected to gradually turn and become predominantly southeast tomorrow, moderate seas. And that is your FPC Morning News. Remember to join us at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. For these stories and others, you can also tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. That's it from me for now. Have a good morning. My Radio Fiji Road, Radio Fiji Road, Sudhau. My name is Sukram, I live in Nanduru Nosori. I always listen to Radio Fiji 2. Reki Reki, my name is Vinod Lal Phantom. My name is Vinod Lal Phantom, Radio Fiji 2. I listen to Radio Fiji 2. I'm Vinod Lal Phantom, I live in Golden Tamu. I listen to 
और सबको रेडियो फिजी टू सुने सबको लाइक करे हम एक कलाकार है लोकगीत कमलावती नारायण भट्टी सिंगा टोका के और रेडियो फिजी टू हमें बहुत पसंद है रेडियो फिजी टू देश की धड़कन